Well, my next guest says Khan must hold the party together to protect Japan's credit rating. He's Andrew Colloquan, head of Asian Pacific Sovereign Debt at Fitch Ratings. He joins me live now from Hong Kong. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Just how difficult is it going to be to hold the party together? Well, that's a key question that uh, directly bears on what we see as one of the most important factors for Japan's sovereign credit worthiness, and that's the prospects for uh, drawing together and implementing a credible medium-term fiscal consolidation plan. To the extent that Khan's victory uh, consolidates his authority, um, it may be easier to see that kind of plan being, being drawn up, but it's something we'll certainly be following closely. I mean, this is the third prime minister in a year, isn't it? Is this going to be a short-lived prime minister, given the party is so divided, given the obstacles ahead when it comes to implementing economic policy? Well, I see a downside case in which uh, the DPJ splits, um, not so much because of what it would mean for the direction of policy, but more because uh, it would mean a further protracted, possibly, period of um, political uncertainty and delay to uh, drawing up the kind of fiscal consolidation plan that I mentioned earlier. Um, that's a downside case, but our uh, base case remains that this government remains in place. Um, some senior figures within the DPJ have called for party unity uh, and that um, a fiscal con consolidation plan can be, can be drawn up. So your worst case scenario is a split in the ruling party, right? Um, well, I don't know about worst case. I'm sure we could uh, come up with some even worse ones, but I think that would be would be negative for um, the quality of policy making and for the uh, sovereign credit outlook. I mean, Japan has been in a deflationary spiral for so long now. The central bank's key policy rate is near zero. They loosened monetary policy earlier in the month, expanding a cheap loan scheme. I mean, that hasn't had much of an effect. It's done little to curb the currency's gains or falls in stock prices. What more can they do? Um, well, I think uh, the only thing that could credibly be done to um, loosen monetary policy in Japan is a much more ag aggressive um, effort on quantitative easing, uh, prospectively, with some intention or some goal of um, uh, weakening the yen versus the currencies of its main trading partners. But to be honest, I see very little prospect of the Bank of Japan going for that kind of policy. Exactly. I mean, how? I mean, that, that's not a very realistic scenario. And, and many people are saying that Japan's dependence on, on fiscal stimulus simply isn't sustainable. Uh, with debt to GDP already about 200%, um, it's uh, difficult to see what, what Boer can credibly be, be done on fiscal stimulus. They've been running high budget deficits for a couple of years now. Um, but I think it's important to bear in mind that the Japanese e economy had a run of good years 2004 to 2007 before the impact of the global crisis. Uh, I don't see the Japanese e economy as necessarily uh, kind of moribund, but it, it is heavily trade driven and uh, the outlook for a relatively weak global Re recovery does tend to weigh on Japan's prospects. Andrew Cahoon from Fitch Ratings, thank you very much indeed for your time. We do appreciate getting your thoughts on this story. Now,